Hello and welcome to another series, because, of course, I have to be making more and more series. Honestly, I decided to try this just because, well, my cat's been dead for several years, and I've been starved of anything cute and cuddly for, again, a long bloody time. Let's see the options here. Kind of like that one. Don't know why you'd want a sea foam, whatever the heck. Let's look at the others. Dog. Not sure why you'd want a red one. Lizard, that's just a frog. I did actually take a look at this game before, so uh, that's how I know frogs are entirely possible in this, I suppose. Then... Well... Might as well go with... Uh... I went with this one before, I think. Yeah. I think it was this one anyway. I'm gonna go back through just... To... Yep. It was this one. Today's the big... It's funny how they call it Bot World. I don't see any Roberts here at all. This does remind me a lot of... Uh... Happy birthday, kiddo. Sleep well? Yar. No way! I'm too excited! Ha! Well, your mom and I said you could have a bot when you were old enough. If we felt you were ready for responsibility. Oh my gosh! Which bot can I pick? I check through all of these, and I've always gone with the ram. Ah, <laughs> good choice. This is a rare bot your mom put together. We mostly see chumps and berries in the wild around here, but she made this one especially for you. Oh boy, away I go! Wait up, boy. You ain't going anywhere with a bot pack. Here's your lunch spare clothes and some bot max ability modules. Of course it carries missiles. One of those pesky wild bots is on the path ahead. Why don't you take your new gear and show me what you can do? And you will see that... It isn't lying about the missiles. The start of the battle, drag your bot into the arena. Man, that one looks like Bubsy. Your bot's automatically attack the closest enemy. Yep. You can't control once they're deployed. Use your bot pack abilities to help your bots in battle. Abilities use energy, which regenerates over time. The Drag missiles? in your missile yep. ability to help take down she the bot. Stop talking over me, boy! missile launcher. Why? Who knows? Because I'm a good at parent. I'm pretty bad with them, I'll be honest. Not bad, but you'll need to do better than compete in the arena. I'll give you another one for some extra firepower. But remember, always put your range bots behind okay. the tough ones. Now go talk to your mum. Let's just thought she was out by the workshop. And quit skipping the dialogue, you let's play her. Thick tube. I never really know. Drop range bots away from enemies to start. Different things. I'm pretty aware of how this works now. So now our sea captain father doesn't really seem that useful. What are you seeing, you little rot bag? I wonder why that one suddenly gets like a spurt of just, I don't know, rapid fire or something. Gonk droid. Look, I can't try to mean bad friend. Come to workshop with you, it's really not a bad. Hey, honey. Oh, that's a bit close. Happy birthday, one. I'm working on another bot. You know me. Always tinkering. Can you show me how to make my own bots, Mom? Of course. You got some scrap? Yes, I found some on the way here. Perfect. Here's what you need to do. Let's select the bot to build. Make ourselves that gaunt droid. I wonder if that's binary for anything down there. Below the power 10. Gotta move that out of the way. I think that new bot will serve you well in your great adventure. Right. Away I go. Not so fast. Have you finished everything else you do around here? Uh, Thought not. Go collect some wild bots and you can collect some scrap for me. Even bot masters of chores. Even bot masters of chores. Even bot masters of chores. I'm aware of, of the two That's uh, right. thingadoodles over here. I wonder if that changes if you're a 
minotaur looking thing. Or a lizardman. I keep forgetting you can just press the thing. I think that means it heals between battles. I'm not sure though. Would be for the best if I put these there and there. And you can go over here. They really don't pack a punch at this point. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm really able to do to make this easier. So instead of XP, they have AI, which is at least something. Tries to do his best. There's that one. Yeah, might as well go with the gunk droid over here. They're all in one place, which means might as well put everyone right next to them. You get into the battle, you. Or not. I didn't calculate that too well. Probably... I'm terrible at aiming those, honestly. I wonder if the crackling problem's still around. I'm hoping it isn't. It's one of the reasons I'm not really doing too well with the Gangstar New Orleans stuff. Because that takes a lot of uh, translating what I'm trying to say at that moment. Because usually it all gets garbled by Whatever's causing this. And I'd have an external microphone, but for that I'd need my computer working again. And at the moment, it is very much dead. And I can't exactly go out and get one built at the moment, considering, you know, current events. Long shot, I'll put you there. Uh, maybe you here? Hopefully Gonk Droid over there doesn't try and... Kaboom. It is strange, considering this is a child and we're giving them a rocket launcher. Now uh, you're old enough, you're fine to have a rocket launcher. Actually, meant to go with this one. Ah, well. But hey, at least you can uh, sort those out quick. If you've got the coins. Which I think you get at the start anyway. Yeah, one of the reasons I'm really trying this is because I just want something that's a lot less stressful, shall we say. I love how the ears just flop up and down as you walk. Uh, I'll put the gunk right there, you over here. You can stay over there. No running for you. Now the one I want to uh, get for this one. Yeah, heat vents. 
makes them a little stronger in terms of uh, breaking things. Makes them easier to break. Uh, they're all pretty f spread out. You there, you there. Uh, there. Why not? I think you need the most help at the moment. Uh, yeah, I can just... I'll upgrade our gunk droid friend over here. Now the one I want is, yeah, movement speed. If this one's another one that's having the same issue with crackling and all sorts of awful, like, audio guff, I'm going to be quite upset. Because I'm not doing much with this stream. Uh, you... And you... Why not? I think we're doing pretty well at the moment. We haven't really encountered anything that would be too difficult, but still. We're doing okay. I like the parrots. Are they just... What's the word? They react to you getting close. That cat really does remind me of Bubsy, though. I'll be honest. Put you there, put you there, and... You. I'm not sure if I'm doing well or not. Probably not doing very well. There are probably things I could do a lot better with this uh, group. I think that's about... Ooh, no, there's still uh, Bomberman over here. Never really played Bomberman. One of those rocket men would be quite useful, if I were to ever get one. So his enemies do clump together quite a bit in this, as far as I can tell. His art style does remind me a fair bit of Sinti. Remember! Being a bot master is more than just winning in the arena. You have the responsibility to scavenge for supplies and help those who need it. How about we turn this scrap into one more bot for your team? Select another bot to build! Yeah, let's go with one of these. I have 25. Great work! Now go find your dad by the dock. He wanted to talk to you. Let's talk to the old salty sea cat. I was about to say sea dog, but you know. That's not a dog. Your mum and I have been talking, and we think that if you really want to become a great botmaster, we have to go to Scavenger's Landing. Scavenger's Landing is the biggest city in Bot World. Botmasters travel from all over to train and compete in the arena there. Sounds very scrappy. We can build a boat and sail there, but first we'll need some building materials. Before we can upgrade the boat, you'll have to complete these tasks. We'll also need these materials. You can tap them for info on where they're found. Driftwood. Right. 
Don't know who Greg is. Time to take on another bot master. Uh, Dragging a bot to start. Put you in the middle to begin with. Uh, bot masters place their bots at the same time. You getting up close. Pick the order Greg, and yeah. placement of your bots uh, carefully for maximum impact. Let's have you around here. I don't think Greg put his uh, thingadoodle in a very good spot. I was about to say, get closer, you. Oh, Rocketeer over there. I'll fire some rockets of my own. And they've all bunched together again. That went surprisingly well. Uh, you really are becoming a bot master. Take the stupid driftwood. I'll have to find somewhere else to scavenge now. That's for stealing all my toys over the years. How else is the bandit going to have someone to play with? And he is left with a jetpack. Driftwood. And with that little stack of driftwood, he has made an entire log boat. Business. There she is. Now we can sail to Scavenger's Landing. Your mom and I can run the family business from the boat while you start your botmaster training. Every time the we upgrade the boat, business. we get to pick some improvements for the family business. Show me how! And if you upgrade the boat, we get hyperlink block. Just spend on the family business. Let's start with this one. You'll have two more hyperlink block to use. Choose some more upgrades and we'll be on our way. Uh, well, I could collect that now. Okay. Cogs and oil and other stuff. Great! I think we're ready to set sail. Adventure ahoy! Adventure ahoy. Funny how rats aren't an option considering, uh, well, they're in the game, aren't they? Welcome to Scavenger's Landing. If you ever get tired of adventuring, come back to the boat. It's your one-stop shop for builds, upgrades, and quality family time. Speaking of family time, honey, where's your sister? She was supposed to meet us. Sister, okay. Probably lost her on sewing bag. Now she is. Auntie Patch? Yep. She's great at sewing bot pack tape together, so she's coming along to craft your bot pack modules for you. Cool. You'll have to go find her. She's a little shack down in South Bank. I'm sure it's all fine, but just to be safe, let's upgrade one of your bots before you head out. We can use materials you find to upgrade your bots. Let's oh, upgrade one now. Bots. Uh, I'd rather upgrade Chompadoodle. But I guess I could upgrade you that I haven't used yet. Hmm. And of course there's a paw print on the uh, lock there. 18 of those. What is that? A massive mace. Kind of like that guy. Uh, fuel. A bunch of stuff. Uh... There was something around here, wasn't there? Yeah, this. Uh, well, bots. Let's go with the scrap piles and you. I don't think we're going to be facing any bandits anytime soon. And we haven't found any chests yet. And that's the end of the episode. What will happen next to our feisty feline? Will they lose their clothes? Who knows? But seriously, why is there a, a skin underneath that you can only see for a couple frames? I get it's hard to add a skeleton to an incomplete body, but most of these games I've seen, they just make the outfits into separate bodies, so they don't have to worry about unnecessary polygons or details like markings, because they can cut away those things and then hide them behind the clothing itself. They also don't have to worry about clipping as much because, well, the legs can't clip with their pants because there are no legs, which is why I find it so strange this game does that. Anyway, I thought that was an interesting find. See you next episode.